everybody. It's the girl. I need to get another video. This is going to be a um, semi-homemade meal. So I have Purdue short carb chicken breast grill that I threw inside of the pot. We are making chicken quesadillas. I got my shop right bowl and basket fajita tortillas. Then I got my all-purpose seasoning that I'm going to be using on today. Then I found taco seasoning by Old Day. Odell Pasta Paso, is that how you say it? Odell Paso. I don't know how to say it. If I'm saying it wrong, correct me in the comment section below. Odell Paso is the other option, is the other uh, season that we're using on tonight. Right, let me get my lighting right. Um, I got a little bit of garlic salt. Um, and you can't do no type of island dish without Goya so I got my Goya so sit back relax grab a snack as I do this um I want to do something without me being on camera see how that turned out so I'm gonna shake this on my chicken okay and this is for my children they don't really like a lot of onions and peppers so it's going to be just a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Season that to your tasting. Okay. Um, in this pot, in my opinion, this should be enough if you cut it up right to make about, I'll say, four to six tacos, depending on who you feed. Um, as y'all know, I have teenage young men 16 and 18 at the house with me so they eat like grown men by grown men by themselves so um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down let me taste this sucker first and see if I got enough seasoning up here um, my standard amount is usually about two to three taste teaspoons of seasoning. That tastes good. Alright, I'm gonna put just a little bit. Just a little bit more of the taco seasoning up there. Because it's not as flavorful as I would like it to be. Um so I'm going to say for this recipe, instead of three tablespoons, put four tablespoons. And I put a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil in this pan. And then I put like a quarter teaspoon of water because I don't want it to burn. I want it to get toasted but not burnt. Because uh, remember, I'm making a quesadilla, so this meat is going to go inside of my tortilla. So... Um, so I'm going to move this over to the side, let that cool down for a second, and I'm going to put my flat, I think it's a griddle pan over here. So I got my knife, and I'm going to cut up. So when it comes to the quesadilla, quesadillas are very simple to make. You just take the meat, your onions, your peppers, put the tortilla on the pan, let it get brown on both sides. Then add your meat and your cheese as like a glue. And then flip it over again, and then you're done. It's the most simplest thing that you can make. 
and it's very cost efficient. I think I spent uh, $2.99 on the rats. I think I spent maybe $5, $6 on this chicken, um, $3.99 on the cheese, and um, I got taco seasoning. I think I spent like $5 on the taco seasoning. So it's very inexpensive, but it's very filling if you do it the right way. Your, your family will definitely be full. Um, I like to have this as a great alternative that I can use when I am not really in the mood to cook a big meal, but I want to feed my family um, and my children. They sometimes get tired of traditional tacos, so this is an alternative. I'm also going to be using um, tropical mozzarella cheese and Stop and Shop um, sharp cheddar cheese are my two cheeses that I'm going to use and mix them up on my food. So, I hope that you can see this. I'm trying my best to angle it the right way. Try something new tonight, so let's see how this works. I haven't done this before. So once your tortilla starts puffing up like a pancake, that's when you know it's, it's good and warm, and you can start flipping it over. You don't want it too, you don't want it too crispy, okay? And I like to poke a little holes in it just so that it doesn't get too puffy. So on my bottom layer, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of mozzarella, okay? Try your best to keep the mozzarella on the tortilla because if you put it on the griddle, it will begin to melt. Okay, and then I'm gonna use just a little bit of this chicken and try to spread it across as evenly as possible. Okay, you don't want it too full, but you want it full enough where you know your family will have at least one piece of chicken in each bite. Then I'm gonna take this sharp cheddar, okay. You gotta move kind of fast with this thing because it don't take long. I'm gonna do the sharp cheddar on top, and then just a little bit more mozzarella. We are cheese people over here. A little bit more mozzarella on that side, and as you can see, this side is puffing up. So now I'm gonna fold it across this way, and I'm gonna smash it, okay, so that the cheese can melt on that side, and then I'm gonna flip it over. So that the cheese came out on that side and I'm just gonna do it just a couple of minutes guys not even minutes a couple of seconds let me be honest not even be minutes let me be seconds okay um I don't feel like doing dishes so put it on the foil in this pan and then I'm gonna scoop this up Flip it the other way. Make sure it's brown on both sides, as you can see. Whoops, I slid off the pan. As you can see, the cheese has melted. Now it's done. So now it's time to do another one. All right, y'all. So let's do that. Um, I thought I had some canola oil, which I should have used to bring it a little closer so y'all can see. Um, I thought I had canola oil. I don't see no canola oil. So I'm going to use a little bit of butter. Put it in the bottom of my um, pan. Put a little bit of butter on top. Okay. I don't want this to be burnt. I want it to be golden brown. It tastes good. So. Alright. That's what I forgot. Butter, butter, butter. You need butter. So. Once again, guys. Quick and simple. I have my um, I have an electric stove. So my electric stove is on low, a number three for the heat. Then I'll put just a little bit of cheese and chicken. Okay. And then you put more cheese on top as a glue mechanism. 
to seal the deal, guys. So, as you can see, it's popping up. So now I'm gonna flip it over like that. You can see that smoke. My pan is hot. That's quesadilla number two. All right, so like I told y'all, it's quick, it's simple, it's easy, it's price efficient. Um, as always, I wish I had smell vision so y'all can smell how good this stuff is. Um, over time, your pan, if it gets too hot, turn the heat down. That way you don't burn your tortilla. But I like to brown it, poke it. And then flip it so it's cooked on both sides. So y'all see how this is getting brown? It's because my pan is hot. And if I didn't want it to be that color anymore, I could always take my um, pan over to the sink, rinse it off, which will cool it down. And then once I cool it down, what I could do is, uh, once I cool it down, reapply it to the stove again and then when I reapply it to the stove the golden brown color would be back like the first couple of ones that I did but my boys are not that particular on it because it still tastes good even though it's a little brown Okay. See how it's brown on both sides? That's because the heat is not going to get hot. See, the butter starts to burn a little bit. And when the butter burns, it turns the tortilla another color. I don't want burnt butter. Okay. So I went over to the stove, rinsed that sucker off, give it a couple of minutes for it to warm up because it's been off the heat. Throw that sucker down like that. If you want to, you can get fancy like me. Put some butter on the inside. So that when you flip it over, it already has butter on it. Another trick to the trade that I learned through time and experience. Okay? So this is how much chicken I got left, as you can see. Still got enough to make at least two more. So that means they each can get three if I do it right. And if not, uh, they can both get two and a half. We'll see. I'll try my best to try to get um, it's three there. I'm going to try to get three more. The Lord says the same. Okay. So, poke it because it's puffing up like a pancake. Right, just make sure you have your cheeses ready. See how that's puffing up right there? That's what I don't want. So we puff up like that. Makes it hard for me to flip it. So you gotta put a hole in it, okay? Make that stuff, stuff a state in submission. Okay. So this is something wonderful. If you have a son or a daughter who's a latchkey kid, son or daughter, grandchild who's in college. You can make this on a hot plate. Doesn't take a lot of ingredients. Doesn't take a lot of time so they can study, get the good grades in school. Education is wealth. I always tell my children, I want you to know your Bible, but I want you to get good grades. So, not too much, because I'm gonna try to make this into three. So, all right. See how that thing is brown skin like me? Ew! <laughs> and melanin is popping. Okay. So it's brown on that side. I hold it with my finger and flip it over. See? It's brown just like me. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's melanin popping. It's yeah, pretty. And it's going to be delicious. It's looking good. Smelling good. God knows it's going to taste good. Yeah, Lord. The girl got 99 problems, but cooking ain't one. Praise ye the Lord. Bless his holy name. 
All right, guys. I pray that you are blessed, no stress, nothing but happiness. If you are just tuning in, we are making semi-homemade quesadillas with this chicken, these wraps, my brand new seasoning, Old de la Paso taco seasoning, and I got some sharp cheddar and some tropical mozzarella cheese and of course you know handy dandy butter some people use butter some people use margarine whatever your pockets can afford that's what i say you use oh okay that's, that's on the right side now i do the mozzarella first but there's no particular um way that you have to do it if you want to do mozzarella first if you want to do the sharp cheddar first that's fine um, some people use Kobe Jack. If you have Kobe Jack or Monterey Jack and you want to put those first, that's absolutely fine. As Auntie Tab would say, that's your business, okay? It's your food. It's your family. You love on them however the Lord leads you, okay? This is just how I know to do it. But it's just redundant. Um, there is no right or wrong way to do it. As long as you are... Allowing that cheese to melt. Okay, let me turn it down a little lower. Because now it's hot. So I'm putting it down all the way on low. It was on number three. But I'm going to turn it all the way down to low. Because I only have one more to go. Hey, <laughs> I got bars. Turn it on low. Because I only got one more to go. Okay. So now, one more, one more. I got enough chicken left for one more. So that's, that's perfect. Look at the Lord. Won't he do it? I said I wanted to make it so that they can get six, three each, because I got my boys I'm feeding. And look at the Lord. He made it so that that's exactly what I can do. Once again, you can always put butter in there like this, so that when you flip it over, it's good. All right, and I like to clean up as I go. So I'm going to put the butter away, I'm going to put the cheese away. Okay. This could be a vegetable quesadilla for you. You don't have to put meat in there. That's just my personal preference. Chicken quesadilla, shrimp quesadillas is what me and my family like. But you can do it any kind of way. Why? Because that's your food. <laughs> that's what the Lord has provided for you and your family, and that's what you do. Okay? So, I pray that you are blessed. No stress. Nothing but happiness. Make sure that you love more and judge people less. Pray for one another because everybody is going through something. And prayer is something that can go where you cannot. Okay? So. This is the last one. Turn this sucker off. Show you guys. Finally, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six is all the way at the bottom. And as you can see, they are nice and compact. They ain't lacking nothing. So the children will be fed and they will be full. All right. I, I, now it's time to eat. All right. Dentor is served. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, hit that notification bell so that you can notify, be notified the next time I upload a video. Until next time, peace.